the real reason why companies want you to have a university degree is not because you have so much more knowledge than somebody who didn't go for five years into a place where they learn about computer science fundamentals and similar things no the real reason or the, the reason they will not tell you is that a university degree signals obedience people who went to a place for five years took exams and did exactly what they have been told they likely are better employees than people who have not done that companies hire employees and one of the core skills of an employee is a certain level of obedience this is of course important to keep the company going to keep the economy going because companies are like families places where people make like they are they are bigger than just the sum of the parts they work together create synergies and value for society so I'm not at all bashing the concept of an employee. I'm just trying to bring to light the reality of what is happening out there. Companies really do prefer people who already show the level of, 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 of a way to really follow what they're told and kind of do what they are supposed to do. In most companies, an employee gets very specific tasks and should do very specific things. Very rarely, this person needs to find like extreme creative business ventures or really take risks such that the company depends on the survival of this person. This does happen, but this is not the general case. This is the job of the founders to take on all the risks to give a vision to give a path to reach this vision and most of the time employees fulfill this by actually often being better than the founders and specific things in coding designing selling all those specific skills they are actually very 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 hard and many founders they are actually they're, they're bad at those specific things such that they need to hire people you as an employee just need to understand that certain things that they expect from you are only there because they try to mitigate the risk by asking you for a university degree by asking for references for certificates for everything that kind of shows that you're not a horrible person companies don't work like that so if somebody sells their IT services they are not that often asked okay where did you study do you have a like degree there are sometimes asked for references but actually way less than you would think in the total last five years of, of working uh, so in self as, as a self-employed uh, re re recruiter I was asked for references maybe two times the rest of the time just a person talks to me checks me out on a meeting and decides based on that if they want to work together with me because they know they can just like tell me to get lost one week later if I do one bad thing they can just get rid of me this is not the case with employees with employees you need to keep them around in bad economic times you need to educate them teach them look for their like uh, well-being and stuff so it's a complete different situation it's a complete different game um, it's neither good or bad I think for someone who wants to work on the Linux kernel and only do that the best option is to be an employee at a big tech company the second best option maybe is to be a contractor who works for different companies that are willing to hire externals for this task many are not because if you work on like a super important core task very few companies like to hire contractors because they have the mentality of solve a specific problem and run away and then they run away with the knowledge as well and you need to hire like a new person and that's not possible that's why startups very often refuse to take on contractors because that doesn't make sense in a startup you need people to stay with you for three five ten years 
and really keep the knowledge with them and with the company. Well, ideally they wouldn't keep the knowledge with the people, but write it down and document it. But in most startups, there is no time for that. So degrees and certificates and all this paperwork, it's very important to get if you want to have an easy life to get a job very quickly and so on. So the reason with the knowledge is a secondary one. It is kind of true that after you study computer science, you know what the Turing machine is. You know what uh, the, the Chomsky hierarchy is. You know what formal languages are. And for example, in a net networking event, if somebody makes a joke about those complicated topics, this does happen in geek circles, then it's kind of embarrassing if you cannot laugh or you don't understand the joke. So you see, the knowledge that you acquire in a university is sort of useful, but less than you think. And the paper is useful for different purposes, not for proving that you know stuff, but that you are obedient. So keep that in mind, still do your studies, still finish your university. A really painful thing is to see someone master's degree, something, and then it says unfinished. And if, even if the reason is, oh, okay, so this person unfinished it to go work for an IT company, that's actually, in a way, great. But then again, it's kind of this, you know, this is like if you have a function and it doesn't have like a return statement. So really think uh, whether it's a good idea to not finish university because then you actually wasted time very often university is kind of, well, you go to parties and get to know people and then you do not like close the deal, right? So you do not do this last thing because you think, oh, now I have all the knowledge and if, if I don't do this last uh, exam, then I still have all the knowledge and employees will like really uh, also accept it. No, actually not. I mean, because the knowledge is not the purpose. Uh, they will not even use, like, even if, let's say, you needed 160, 160 uh, credits and you, you made, like, you, you did, like, 159 credits, you, you miss one credit and you do not have the degree, it's almost as if you didn't do this for five years. And obviously, in these five years, you could have, like, built a company, work in a startup and really, let's say, do something where people will say, okay, this guy didn't study or this person didn't study. It's true that he, they, they built, like, a company but if you do not kind of do this but and if you're like sort of regular you don't have anything else impressive on your cv and this one thing is off this is so painful try to finish the degree if you can unless there is some absolutely super duper necessity and always remember why companies want to see the degree because of the signaling not so much because of the knowledge. Have a good day.